Yo, what the hell is your problem? I'm sorry, what? Why are you always fucking with me? You're nothing but a rookie-ass art school dancer who needs to learn his fucking place. We have two major new characters this year. We have a character named Zoe, played by Jeremy Copeland, who's a professional dancer. Zoe is so funny. I love him. He's my favorite character. I'm trying to teach you. You're welcome. Zoe comes in with the intention of being dance captain. Fix your face. In that process, he just starts bumping heads with people who are actually excelling. In Zoe's mind, it's like, well, if they're doing better than me, then there's a problem. Sprouts like a great baby. He starts to grate on towel quite a lot, and they clash a lot, and then eventually that changes into something else. Even those pants can't hide that ass of yours. He is very outspoken and opinionated. Ew, no. He's not far from who I am. So I can pull from a lot of experiences in my personal life and career to tap into Zoe. You almost don't make me want to throw up. I think Zoe was an element that was not in season one. And he's just so unpredictable. Like, I think people are just going to wonder every scene, like, oh, what is he going to do next? What is he going to say? You guys should get you a room. Season two is going to be crazy. I'm good. Check this out. OK. <laughs> it is a rare pleasure to work with someone who actually knows what the fuck they're doing. There's another new character named Nine, who played by Ashley Green. She plays Sage's A&R representative of the tour, and she comes and just rattles Colette. I don't have time to rekindle an old relationship or worry about how you're feeling. Got it? Nine and Colette were in a girl group back in the day called Skin Tight, and she's sort of like an arch nemesis all season gunning for her. There's a strategy behind everything we do based on actual data, which music novices like you would know nothing about. Nine really knows her stuff, but we quickly realized that her interests are really furthering her own ambitions in her own career, and that is the music of the street and younger, more up-and-coming artists. So she gloms on to King and Rigo. This is my drug. I mean, this is what I live for. Ashley's amazing. It's actually funny to see her play this character who's catty and mean when she's a complete sweetheart. The contrast is amazing. You feel like you know better than me? You fucking girl group flame out. At least I knew when to quit. Want to miss everything? Please. Subscribe to this channel to see new trailers, sneak peeks, and more every single week. Don't miss it.